hey y'all welcome back to my channel my name is maya if you're new here i'm a 25 year old living in columbia south carolina and i share pieces of my romance 828 life here on the internet it's been about two weeks at this point since i've uploaded a video and i want to start off by saying that about two weeks ago actually i recorded I did like a whole weekend vlog and in my opinion y'all it was some really great footage like that was the weekend after my birthday which <laughs> I'm 25 now tee it was the weekend after my birthday I went to this like work event I don't know I just feel like I got some really good footage but something happened with my SD card and so like I literally was not able to pull the footage when I went to edit it and then some of it I actually recorded in slow-mo which I actually need to make sure this is not in slow-mo hold on one sec I'm back we're good so yeah that all had me pretty freaking sad because like I said it was some great footage and I just feel like you know as like a content creator a creator a creative it's like you put a lot of effort into your work so to just see it all kind of like go to dirt is like you know a little discouraging but i was like i'm not going to let it get me down so we move we're gonna be doing a little weekend in the life here it's labor day weekend actually i'm just wrapping up work it's pretty late in the evening like it's after work hours it was a bit of a rough week for me i just had a lot of deliverables due and it was just kind of a lot i'm so grateful that we get a long weekend this weekend i feel like i kind of needed it so yeah i don't exactly have like a lot planned this weekend but regardless i'm gonna bring y'all along with me and yeah i have this $25 gift card that my aunt and uncle gave me for my housewarming gift. Thank you, Auntie Nina and Uncle Jason, because I know my aunt's probably going to watch this. But yeah, they gave me this um, gift card as like a housewarming gift. And so I think, well, I don't think. I'm about to go to Target and see what I can get because I just feel like I need like a shot of adrenaline or dopamine, whatever. Like I just... I just need to reward myself for this week so i don't know i could maybe get a book or a mouse like for your computer because i need a mouse or uh oh wait i already said a book i was gonna say a book again um maybe makeup i don't know i don't really want makeup just because i recently like as a gift from me to me for my birthday um i kind of did like a little bit of makeup shopping so i'm like i don't really want makeup um, I could get a pot holder because my manager for my birthday actually gifted me with a plant. And this is her. Her name is Ruby. She's an anthurium, which is known to be the longest blooming plant, apparently. And y'all, one thing about me, I do not have a green thumb. So with Ruby, I'm really praying. Like, I really want to keep her alive and keep her healthy. I've had her like two and a half weeks now, and I feel like I'm doing good. Literally, her care is pretty easy. She likes to be in a bright room, but no direct sunlight, but just a bright space. My neighbors are being loud. I have to feed her once a week, six ice cubes. I feel like that's like when it comes to pouring water and stuff, I'm like, I don't know how much I'm actually giving. So it literally on the care thing, it literally was like six ice cubes. I was like, ooh, I can do that. So shout out to Ruby. I talked to her because my mom told me a long time ago that like talking to plants makes them healthier. And it makes sense because they breathe in what we breathe out. I literally have not been a plant mom since probably my freshman or sophomore year of college. That's actually a lie because um, I called myself trying to be a little bit of a plant mom earlier this year because my grandfather passed away and y'all know when people passed away, like at least with black folks, we like to gift them like flowers. Like what are those? Um, lily, peace lilies. So I had a peace lily in my room and it died. So with Ruby, I'm dedicated so maybe i could get her a cuter pot holder i don't know we'll see i'm gathering all of my items so that we can head to target i know that i told y'all i had a rough week but i definitely pray that y'all had a good week that y'all are doing well that you're blessed you healthy um and that all is well one thing about it y'all i don't leave the house without my aqua for i'll be buying these little like travel size um sizes containers tubes whatever because they're just perfect i use my aqua for for like everything i got this little purse from Zara. 
I don't know if y'all heard that, but I got this little purse from Zara. I think she's really cute, especially for the fall time. But anyway, y'all, let's go to Target. This sweater is super cute, y'all, but it's $30, so that's outside the budget. But cute. Now I'll fit to this since I can't show y'all at home because I don't have a full body mirror yet. Maybe I should get one here. I low-key do need like a little mat outside of my uh, front door. So maybe I'll pick one up. What is this today? That's cute. No, I don't think I like this face off the front. No, what is this thing? I really need some of these from my kitchen mat, and they were just right here next to the uh, little mat. So I'm not sure what the difference is. I think this is what I need though. Keep the rugs. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Candles, I buy one, get one 50% off. And I'm like constantly burning a candle, but. This is my kitchen mat that I was telling y'all about. Ignore that little stain right there, y'all. I woke up this morning, walked out, and was like, what in the world is this? I don't know where, what that is. I may can put this in the uh, washer and get that out, but at the same time, whatever. But So y'all see, it kind of be slipping and sliding. So I'm going to put these, um, if I get the thing right, these rug grippers down. Hopefully that helps. So update y'all, my uh, gift card didn't work. I got to the front, you know, scanning my stuff out, of course. And I went to use it and it wouldn't work. I called a uh, associate over and he was like, you probably gonna have to call the number on the back of the card. So I was just like, all right. It's like kind of sticky. Okay, I'm confused. Um, Cause one side is sticky, but the other side isn't. So it's like, do I peel? The yellow, oh, like what in order? How does this work? It says you can cut it, so I think that should be good. Okay, let me turn this over. I literally, okay, hold on. I think the sticky side go on the rug. That That's the only way that makes sense, so. Oh dang, but then it's like, I'm not gonna be able to wash it with this on, but whatever. I just wanna make sure it works. I'll wash it eventually. I just put two strips down and we're gonna turn it over and see. If I need more, I'll add more, but. I'm confused. This is still slipping and sliding. I'm confused. Non-slip. What? I don't understand y'all. I don't understand. I'm confused. Truly, I'm truly confused. Puzzled actually. So maybe the sticky side go on the floor. But I don't understand how this like sticks it up. I don't know, let's see. Okay, that seemed like that kinda, kinda help. I'm gonna add another strip. Oh yeah, that makes sense because see now this way, with me sticking this to the floor instead of to the actual mat, I can actually put the mat in the washing machine. So I just put them like that. I know that looks crazy, but let's see. It's like, it definitely helped. Oh yeah, that definitely helped. I feel like I should maybe put some on the sides and then I think we'll be good. Yes, what I'm talking about. Definitely, definitely a difference. So cool. So yeah, I got this rug gripper and then I got that mat that I put outside my door. It's super cute. 
I also got some Vaseline. And my total, although I wasn't able to use a gift card, my total came out to $24.89, something like that. So yesterday after work, I picked up some pizza from this place here in Columbia called Saws on Divine. And when I tell y'all, it's so freaking good. I've had a pizza from there and a salad. And then one time Jalen ordered like some pasta and even his pasta was good. So I have some here with me currently and I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. And this is what I'll be having for dinner tonight. I got two slices left. So I'm gonna put that in there. Literally this air fryer is the truth. She's the truth. And I'm about to eat on my little pink plates because I don't feel like using one of my real ones. Got my pizza. Got my little juice. This is the uh, cranberry ocean spray. So good. Y'all, I got these little glasses from Amazon and they're so cute to me. I have some that are shorter than this, but it's just so cute. Like, I just love sipping out of these. I'm sitting here watching Pop the balloon. Don't judge me, guys. Don't judge me. They got me. They got me. They finally got me. I just started watching this stuff like two and a half weeks ago. They got me. They did. Not gonna yai. It's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting and it is entertaining. Be 28. Um, she said height is one of her uh, key factors. She said uh, you have to be a taller guy. So, and on top of that, she's not really my type. Um, I like my women a little more thicker. Um, I think looks wise, yes, he's definitely my type. Um, but yeah, not with the height. So, or if, what's your zodiac sign? Aquarius. Okay. Oh, brother. I'm a Virgo. Uh, like, what does that have to do with anything? What? Y'all, I started washing my face at night. And when I tell y'all, it's changed my life. I started doing it over the summer, actually. Like, and it kind of started on accident because we were going to California. And y'all, the day before we went to California, I literally just so happened to like accidentally stay up for 24 hours. Our flight left for LA at like 6 a.m. from Atlanta. So we had to leave the house to get to, to the airport at like two. I had stayed up to like 1 a.m. And at that point it was like, well, there's no point in going to sleep. So we got to LA, did what we did that day. And then that night I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot go to bed without washing my face because I haven't washed my face in like, 24 hours so i ended up washing my face and i just stuck with it for the next few days while we were in la of like doing it at night and eventually i got back to my regular washing my face in the morning but then this week um i was just talking to my boyfriend about my skin and my skin has started breaking out and i feel like it's one of two things one i think it's because i've been drinking soda and i really don't drink soda for real and the reason is because it breaks me out so it's either from the soda and i'll just so y'all can kind of see like right here it's pretty bad and then i got some acne going on over there um so it's either because i've been drinking soda or i'm thinking it may be because i have rosacea it's like my skin has getting it started getting red and like flaky and scaly sometimes like it'll just randomly do it and I noticed I started doing that this summer and my mom actually has rosacea diagnosed. So I was telling Jalen about it and he was like, I think you should start back washing your face at night because he actually washes his face at night. So this entire week I've been washing my face at night and I really love it. Like I know that I just showed y'all my current breakout situation, but this actually looks better than it looked a few days ago. And I feel like my skin is actually more receptive to my skincare products at night versus in the daytime. And also too, Jalen made a good point. He was like, when you wash your face at night, you're washing off the day versus in the morning, like you go to sleep with the day before it's still on your face. It also saves time in the morning, y'all. Like, my skincare routine, it be taking me like 20 minutes. And I only use like four or five products, but I swear it be taking me like 20 minutes. So it's also a great time saver in the morning. Like I said, I've only been doing it a few days now consistently, but I think I would definitely recommend washing your face at night. And I think this is going to be my new thing. Since we're talking about skin, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my skincare routine. I always start with washing my hands before I touch my face, wash your hands. Then I go in with my Aveeno Purely or Positively Radiant 
clear complexion foam cleanser this has salicylic acid in it i have been using this product since college like since like 2018 when i first started getting really serious about my skin that's when i started using this and i really love it and when i wash my face y'all i wash my face for 60 seconds i literally count up to 60 seconds in my head since i'm talking i'm not going to be able to count but I'll just kind of guesstimate. When I wash my face, I like to get up top, get my edges to get that product out. I probably should move my braid in the back, but like that looks, does that look stupid? Whatever. And I also like to get my neck, bring it on down some, and just make sure I rub it. Rub it in good. And after 60 seconds, of course, you're just gonna wash it off. Next, I take my Selsin Blue. This is actually shampoo, y'all, but I only use this on my forehead because when I started my skincare journey, again, this was like 2018, I noticed that I had these little tiny bumps on my forehead and they weren't bumps that you could like pop, but they were just annoying little bumps. So I started doing my research and I found out that that's actually like a fungus like growing on your skin and Selsin Blue, some active, some ingredient in Selsin Blue actually helps combat it. So I'll just rub this in again for 60 seconds. And like I said, y'all, I've been drinking soda. So my skin everywhere, honestly, is a little crazy right now. But if you have those little tiny bumps on your forehead, this works. Like, I'm probably going to try to include some pictures of what my skin used to look like and how it's been ever since I started using this. When you use it, it kind of feels a little tingly, like a little pepperminty, like somebody blowing on your forehead. It has a cooling sensation to it, but I like that because I feel like that means it's working. Sometimes I'll even let this sit on my forehead for like five minutes, to be honest. Um, it just kind of depends. I'm done rinsing the product off, and like I said, I don't use washcloths to dry my face. I use these little cotton pads, so just kind of dry my face off some and <laughs> also like dry my neck and my hands and my arms off. I really want those little scrunchy things that you put on your wrists to help water um, stop from like traveling down your arms. I actually saw them at Target today, but they were black and I was like, I want white. But now I'm kind of like, maybe I should have just got the black because the white will get dirty easy. And also too, it's like, Girl, it don't matter that much. I'm gonna bring my ponytail back around. We're to the final two steps in my daily routine. Sometimes I may use one other product, but, and I'll just show y'all what it is. It's the Paula's Choice uh, BHA Exfoliant. Um, I used to use this every single day. Do not do that. You will ruin your skincare barrier. Learn from me, cause I did it. Um, and my skin was messed up. So now I probably only use that once a week, to be honest. I'm gonna go in with some hyaluronic acid. This hyaluronic acid just so happens to be from Good Molecules. I think this is my second bottle of hyaluronic acid from them, but I've also used hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. But um, hyaluronic acid is good for like moisturizing your skin. And that's one thing I have learned in my skincare journey is that moisture is probably the most important thing ever in moisture your skin making sure that it's moisturized will heal most of the problems or help heal a lot of the problems on your skin so when it comes to that moisture baby I don't play um I only use this on the bottom half of my face though because I feel like when I first incorporated it into my skincare routine and I was using it all over I feel like my forehead has started breaking out and my forehead typically is more it's the most oily part of my face <laughs> So I kind of feel like sometimes it don't be needing all that extra moisture, but the rest of my skin do. So, and also too, like I typically don't get, like y'all see how I got this little pimple right here. Pimples like that, I don't ever get on my forehead. It was just those little tiny bumps I was getting. I do kind of have a little something right here, but that's about like as big as a pimple I'll get on my forehead. And lastly, I go in with my Aveeno Positively Radiant clear complexion moisturizer again i've been using this for years i've been using this since like 2018 and i like it because it also has salicylic acid in it and it also has spf wait this one don't have spf 
Does this not have SPF in it? Girl, maybe that's why I'm breaking out. I ain't been wearing no SPF. I always buy the one with SPF 15, but it literally does not look like this has SPF in it because it typically says it. But wearing SPF also helps your skin greatly. If you're a person of color, I don't recommend buying the one with SPF 30 in it. Because I did that once and I was white. The SPF 15, I don't ever have that issue. That makes sense that this... This ain't the one with the SPF in it though, because I've been feeling like this has been rubbing into my skin easier than it, it usually does. And that is one thing I will say y'all with that product. But the one with the SPF in it, you're going to be rubbing it in for a while. But it's worth it in my opinion. I'm almost out of this though, so when it's time for me to re-up, I will definitely make sure I have the correct bottle with my SPF in it. Again, I also do like to make sure I like rub it down into my neck some because that is important too. Sometimes my skin can get really dry and recently I've noticed that my nose area has been a little more dry. So at night I like to take my Aquaphor and just put that around my nose some and that helps. I feel like, wasn't that a trend y'all? Like two years ago using Aquaphor, what was it called? Like snailing? Something like that. Yeah, if y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all know what I'm talking about. But that's it, guys. That's the skincare routine. So I am about to spend some time with the Lord and go to bed. It is currently 10 17. Um, I may just like keep watching some YouTube after I spend time with the Lord, but that's it, y'all. My little Friday night. I will see y'all in the morning. Hey y'all, it's definitely not the morning. It is 6.45 p.m. on Saturday. <laughs> y'all truly have not missed anything today. All I did was clean and I made a little cleaning video for TikTok. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, go, go follow me, check that out. If I'm MIA on YouTube or even Instagram, you'll probably be able to find me on TikTok. So yeah, cleaned, um, watched some college football i started like low-key really getting into football last year i would say and it's because of my boyfriend y'all just being in a relationship you know just getting into some of the things that he's into but also i'm from athens go dogs so like football is kind of in my blood um but i just decided that like i want to pay attention more to football especially to uga and then when it comes to the nfl I just be rooting for the teams that my boyfriend be rooting for. His favorites are the Bills and the Panthers. So yeah, I watched UGA. They played Clemson today and won. And then I actually watched a little bit of the, who was it, Miami and Florida game. I don't know who won, but when I started watching it, Miami was winning. I just got out the shower, put some clothes on because I'm about to film a video for It Cosmetics. They sent me over some products. So they sent this uh, CC complexion cream that I'm super excited to try. It also has SPF in it, but I'm excited to try it because I don't use foundation. I've used like skin tints, but even with skin tints, I haven't had a whole lot of luck. Like the only skin tint I use currently is Merit and the Elf, whatever that's called. So I'm excited to try this. These are the two colors that gave me a fiddle focus. Focus, focus, focus. Yeah, these are the two colors that gave me. So I'm hoping that this one works out because this looks a little too, I don't know. We can test them and see. But so they gave me complexion cream. They also gave me some blushes. Um, these are their sun blushes. So they're supposed to like make you glow, I think. And they're in different shades. So we're gonna try those out and see. And then they also gave me a brush to do my makeup with. Yeah, oh, okay. So I can use this with the complexion cream and with my concealer, so that's cool. So I wanted to get ready to film that video. Um, and then I'm also gonna try to put these lashes on with y'all. I bought these specifically for my birthday because for my birthday, I was like, oh, I want my lashes done, but I don't feel like paying for it lash extensions and i also don't feel like just incorporating that into my maintenance routine it's just lashes can be a lot they're super cute and i love them but they can really be a lot so it's just like 
I don't want to go back to that, honestly. At least not right now. I decided to just buy some of the little DIY lashes from Amazon. But I was having trouble doing them on my birthday. I was also rushing because I was trying to do them literally on my birthday when me and my boyfriend was getting ready for dinner and it wasn't working out. And I was like, I don't got time for it. So I didn't try to do them again. But since I'm getting ready to do this video for It Cosmetics, I was just like, hmm, I think I should just try to do the lashes again. So y'all, I'm gonna try to do these. I'm a little nervous because like I said the last time I did them it was a struggle and like my sister Yasmin and I think Ella too I think Ella be wearing them too but yeah they were both like it's so easy it's so easy it's not that hard and I was like y'all lying let me go get a chair hold on y'all I want to be able to sit down while I do this so I can really like look um in my mirror here i don't have my large tripod it's still at my mom's house i really hate that y'all can see like my towel in the back i feel like that's a little intimate for some reason so let me scoot over time my larger tripod is still at my mom's house i honestly need to go get it because my little mini one it do what it need to do when it need to do it but when it don't it don't so let's see so we have these eyelid and lash wipes so i'm going to just wipe off my eyes and then the last time that i tried to do this the instruction said to put the glue on your lid and on the lash but i felt like the stuff was drying too quick so when i was talking to yasmin she was like well i don't put it on both i just put it on the lash and i was like hmm but the instructions don't say do that but she was like but it's easier to do it that way and I feel like that makes sense because the glue probably like has less time to dry. Um, I kind of need to look at the instructions again. So, okay. So there's bond and then there's seal. Okay, so I'll do the seal last. So just put, I just put the bond. We're going to just try this. We're going to put the bond on the lashes. And then Yasmin had told me like, when you hold it, hold it this way and da 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 I forgot how she said to hold it, but I'm literally so scared. I want to kind of get my technique down first before I put the bond on. Oh, <laughs> it landed on my leg. Okay, so I'm going to work from inner eye to out. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if I'll be able to hold this and put it on at the same time. I don't think I'll be able to do that. I think I have to have both hands actually see and it's like this is why i don't be a diy girly because i don't like <laughs> i don't like having to do stuff myself i actually really do enjoy going to oh my freaking gosh my point exactly i actually really like going to get these services done because I, i'm not a i'm not a lash tech so why am I trying to do my lashes and then it's like how do i know when the bond is actually on here okay i think it's on Oh my gosh. Did I do it? I don't know if it's actually on right or not. Oh, okay. Clearly it wasn't. I just put myself in the eye. I just literally put myself in the eye, actually. I don't think I can do it, y'all. I'm sorry. I put on two. I actually put on four, but I took the last two off because they it just looked crazy. Like, I just don't think, I just don't think I can do it. <laughs> I just don't think I can do it. And I'm actually really sad because the, the girls be doing it so cute and it seems so easy on TikTok. But babe, I, I'm just not one of them. Uh-oh, I think these two are stuck at this point. They gave me some lash remover, so let's try this. Oh, Lord, I'm scared because what if this get in my eyes, huh? Oh, huh. that made it come off real easy. Oh, I had on more than two, y'all. I don't know if I just don't have the patience, if, I, if I'm too hungry right now, because I am a little hungry. I don't know, but I'm just kind of over it. And like, I think it's like, it's just not even that worth it to me. Like, I would love to do these in front of them to be cute and everything, but at what cost? At the cost of me being frustrated? I don't think so. And that's what I was saying earlier. Like, that's why, I'm sorry, I would pay for a service because I don't want to do this stuff. I don't want to know how to do it myself. Now, I maybe we'll try this again eventually. Pretty soon, actually, maybe. I don't know. But today, right now, in this current, present moment, I cannot do this. 
All right, y'all, I'm filming a TikTok and I'm filming for YouTube. Well, this is gonna be a TikTok and a reel. So I'm actually gonna try this rich color first. Maybe I should get the brush ready. Hopefully either one of these work. Cause if not, that'd be embarrassing. Cause baby, I ain't doing the video if it don't work. Yeah, I think rich will be better than this. This looks like too, looks like it'll be ashy on me. Ooh. This is this. I think that looks better. For my YouTube girlies, I like this. Like it blended in really nicely and it doesn't feel heavy. And I like the brush too. And y'all know, we was talking yesterday. I talked to y'all about how I'm breaking out over here and so my face has been a little red. And I mean, it covered up the redness very nicely too. Okay, it cosmetics, I see y'all. So they sent me, one of these is a blush and a bronzer and then one of them is just a blush. Like this is blush and bronzer. I don't really understand how that's possible, but I'm gonna try it. I don't like, I don't even know if I have the right bl uh, brush for this. Do y'all see that? Oh my gosh, why did I do that? This is gonna be trust the process. Uh, okay. I mean, I gotta do it on the other side too. Oh, come on, who is this bronzing? This ain't bronzing me. Okay, maybe when I do my um concealer, it'll like bring it all together. This is literally how I do my regular makeup. So I'm just kind of rolling with it and I'm just gonna do it how I do my regular makeup. Y'all know my birthday was in August, so I went to Sephora and got my freebie. And I got the, they had like a Kosas kit. One thing that came in it with was their um Kosas Air Brow. Let me see if it'll focus. This is what it looks like. It's a clear lifting treatment gel. I love this stuff. I will be buying the full size once this runs out because previously I was using the Tarte, um, let me see. Or no, this is not Tarte. This is Urban Decay, the Slick Day Brow to keep my brows in place. And it would have my brows cakey. I also used to use the e.l.f. brow gel. That would also have my eyebrows cakey. But this, I've been using this for like a week and a half straight. And not once has it made my brows cakey. So definitely we'll be buying the full size of that. This is the aftermath, y'all. And I just deep clean my bathroom. Wipes everything down, but this is the aftermath. This is the finished result though of my makeup. Um, I think that I I like I for sure like the CC cream, like I told y'all. Um, the bronzer and the blush, I think I like. I don't know if I would buy it myself, but I'm about to go to Kava, y'all, because I don't have any food in the house. I'm gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow, but for today, I need something to eat today. This top is from Express. When I got it, I picked up a size small, and the sales associate was like, hey, are you typically a size small in tops? And I was like, yeah. She said, well, I am too, and I bought this in an extra small, and I would recommend you a uh, size down. And at first, I was kind of like, Girl, I can't fit nobody extra small or nothing. But um, the extra small actually fits really nicely. And I am glad that I went with the extra small instead of a small. Because I just feel like this like kind of sucks you in really nicely. I'll show y'all in my bathroom mirror. Yeah, I just feel like it fits really nicely. It like just, I don't know. I just really like it. I like the neck cut as well. Like, I feel like it's flattering. I love Express. And I'm just wearing some jeans from H&M and then some little, I mean, I can show you all the shoes this way. These shoes are also from H&M. Um, they're giving like Sambas, but without the Samba price. And then this little bag from Zara that I showed y'all yesterday. We did indeed secure the bag. And I'm going to tell y'all my Kava order because fun fact, y'all, I used to not like Kava. Like the first two times I tried it, I said, girl, this is nasty. But then I went with a client earlier this year. Was that? Yeah, that was this year. And I was like, hmm, I'm finding it. And then I went again another time after that. And I was like, I found it. So it's just about what you get like if you've ever been to kava and you were like ew that's gross i don't like it you do have to kind of know what to get so i get a bowl and i only get rice i don't get greens because any times i got it with greens i didn't like it personally so this is what it looks like i get the white rice i get half grilled chicken half mixed veggies is that bug in my car or that's a okay 
when I'm gonna call her back in one second. Half mixed veggies, half grilled, wait. Half mixed veggies, half grilled chicken, pita crisps, avocado, and then garlic dressing. I also get a side pita, um, which comes, it's free. And then I got some lemonade. And I'm literally gonna sit in my car and eat just so I can be out the house for a little bit today. Cause I ain't been out the house at all today, y'all, so. Good Lord. Hello? Did you delete my comment on your video? Yes, I did. I'm like, why is this video, I'm like, why is this video has zero comments? I'm like, are you serious? Well, for your information, I like to light my candle before I clean because I like to smell it while I'm cleaning. Well, you're weird because you're not supposed to do that. It ain't no what you're supposed to I don't care. I like to do it. I don't care. Hey, y'all. Happy Sunday, guys. The best day of the week, if you ask me. I just got home not too long ago from church. So, you know, with moving to a new place, um, a huge priority for me was finding a new church home. And so two weeks ago, Jalen and I visited this particular church. And when we tell y'all, we will, when we tell y'all, when I tell you guys, we loved it. Oh, wait, speaking of, look who it is. Hello. I'm a little rascal. Hi. What's good with you? Not that I was just talking about you. To who? To the vlog. Oh, man. Hey, vlog, don't believe her. <laughs> it was good it's stuff. <laughs> I'm currently on the way to the nail salon. I'm sorry, the camera. Yeah, sorry. Currently all the way to the nail salon and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store because I got to re-up on the groceries for this week. I did take me a nap after church, you know, the after church nap, it always hits. Really didn't mean to, but it, it did, it, it did take me, the nap did take me. I was considering, okay. I was considering getting my nails done tomorrow, but the nail salon actually isn't open tomorrow, which duh, of course, it's Labor Day. You know, I don't expect them to be open, I was just wondering, but they're not open tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my nails done today. It's been three weeks since I've had them done, and they've lasted, none have broke or anything, so shout out to that nail salon. Um, none of them have chipped, nothing. Like, they still look good as new it's just that new growth you know this is what my nails are currently looking like these are acrylics i believe i want to take the acrylic off and just do s and s which is what i normally do and go back to my square nails are done i went back to my short square yes yes ma'am so i got uh two coats of 128 and then she did one coat of bubble bath on top and i think it's pretty cute i'm really hungry i just want to eat but i do need to go to publix it's 6 34 so we're gonna head to publix do our grocery shopping there's actually a publix right here there's a publix right here i really don't like that this publix like that because it's so small but it's right here so i'm gonna just go to this publix and then we can head home from there. I'm back home from the grocery store. When I tell y'all, I'm literally so hungry. All I've had to eat today was some oatmeal. So I turned the oven on because for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make salmon, a baked potato, and a salad. So I may be a little low energy currently because like I said, I'm hungry, but I did my grocery shopping for the week. So I'll do a quick haul for y'all. Croutons for the salad. Tide pods from Walmart. And some starch, cause I be need some starch. Crispy onions, apples, bread, bagels, frozen tater patties, bacon bits, a head of lettuce, strawberries, frozen yogurt, Chobani. This is the uh, strawberry banana flavor. Febreze car scents. This is in cranberry crumble it smelled really good to me i got uh, my boyfriend a little devotional don't sleep on walmart for devotionals y'all my current devotional that i'm using is actually from walmart frosted sugar cookies and they're like fall ish so i just wanted to get them ooh, 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 ooh. cheddar cheese dressing i got the big bottle because i've run through this so fast this is probably like my third or fourth bottle since i've been in this apartment so i just got the big bottle i got some little mini cinnamon rolls 
butter. This is my salmon. I asked for a pound. Also got some eggs. And last but not least, I had to get some paper towels and some toilet tissue. So. Seven yard from the highlight, the 24 yard movement right here. Bill, you can watch that for clapping. That's game 15. Those guys are stronger. They're faster. My baked potato is in the oven. Salad is prepped. So now I'm going to work on this salmon. And I just looked up a um, air fryer salmon recipe on Google. I'm going to follow this. I've made salmon in the air fryer before, but I feel like I want to make it better. So this asks for olive oil, which I don't have, and lemon. Dang. I didn't think to get lemon, y'all. Oh my gosh. This literally just calls for olive oil and lemon, neither of which I have. I have a avocado oil i got the um this usc and lsu game in the background by the way on hulu wow that's really it why did i go to this then when i'm looking at recipes y'all i've been needing the instructions just laid out like one two three this step is how much you're supposed to do preheat the air fryer i never thought to do that i can go ahead and turn the air fryer on because i feel like that's half the battle sometimes is when you're using the air fryer is waiting for it to like heat up but i don't have to wait for it to heat up i can just go ahead and turn it on okay cool so this should be simple enough y'all see how quiet my air fryer is very cute very demure very modest not too loud very aware of its surroundings salmon is in the air fryer and then I have about 15 minutes left on my baked potato. While those things are cooking, I thought this would be a good time to talk about church today and just kind of recap y'all some. I was trying to tell y'all a little bit earlier, but um, Jalen called me, so he and I ended up being on the phone for a little minute. But church was really, really, really good today. About two weeks ago, Jalen and I visited this church here in Columbia, and we both absolutely loved it. Just from worship, the word, how it ministered to the both of us, how welcoming and loving the environment was. We really loved it. And it's so funny because he and I debriefed after and we told each other actually like, we both were looking for things to not like about the church. Like when we went, I had a notes list on my phone of like pros and cons. When I tell y'all I have pros and zero cons on that list because there was nothing about the church that I didn't enjoy. It was so powerful and so good. So he and I both want to become members there. So that's the church that I went back to today. There was a guest pastor there today. I really love the church y'all and I'm so grateful that we found them and I'm just I'm just so grateful. I'm getting a little emotional. I'm just so grateful. God is so good because God is taking care of every single thing since I've gotten to Columbia and it just further confirms that like this is where he wanted me to be and so I'm excited um Jalen is currently not in Columbia he's in Atlanta because he's actually in the process of transitioning from Atlanta to Columbia he recently started a new job here in Columbia so he'll be moving here within the next two months or so so I say that to say he's not here right now so I'm not gonna join until we can both like join together. You know, we just wanted to join the church together. And while we're on the topic of church, I wanted to shout out the Shepherd Shelf for sending me this Bible. She is so cute. She's pink. She's a new King James uh, Bible. And then y'all see I got my name down there, Maya Imani, that's me. Um, but yeah, she's not like, you know, one of the more decorated Bibles, but I'm okay with that because She's a Bible nonetheless, okay? It's the word of God. So however she come is however she come. Let me stop referring to the Bible as a she. <laughs> I'm going a little too far now. I took this with me to church today, and I think this is gonna be my designated church Bible. I used to take my She Reads Truth Bible with me, but that Bible is just so big. I really don't like traveling with it. Um, so this is gonna be my church bible and it also works out because at church they read from the new king james version anyway and this bible's new king james so it just kind of works out perfect y'all look at this salmon oh i think i did my big one with this one not gonna lie this right here look good 